Hey guys, this is Jay Sharp Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you another video with my Arsenal Mercenary. I forgot to hit record right before the game, but at this point we just got to the middle. We have one side node, but our team is split up with the other side node and at middle. I'm up to the side and position myself in a good place to continue DPS as I um, continue to record. So there's a lot of people in the middle right here, so I'm making sure to be on the edge. I do not want to be in the thick of things because when we are in the thick of things, we can get focused by melee. I run over here to make sure I can get the damage increase. It makes a huge difference to your DPS if you're looking around you and using everything to your advantage. Again, DPS and making sure to do damage as I reposition myself and then doing more group or single target damage on the healer. He has a guard and is not taking a bunch of damage, but I want to make sure to target him so I can interrupt his heals and generally stay focused on him. However, there's a group of people right here, so I throw down a couple AoE attacks and force people to break up. Then I go on the Sage because he's not getting healed. As you can see, a couple big attacks, he's taking a big damage and has to bubble. So then I go up forward again to this other side, do some, use my instant tracer missile to um, stay mobile, and then attacked the assassin. He tried to phase walk away, but the last tick of my blazing bolts got him. Again, back on the healer, um, using my supercharge right as the um, keep it seeker missile is about to do it. Um, getting into close range and then stunning him so that my rail shot is able to finish him off. Then I see there's three people over here so I make sure to stay mobile, reposition myself to the other side, throw on my net because I want to make sure I can we can get this juggernaut down right away. After we kill the juggernaut we're on another one and then since there's a couple of people there all in the node I throw on some AoE which is good to check out stealthers and just kind of generally discourage them for being near the node. Do a couple quick attacks and switch targets to the next guy. Again, we have both side nodes at this point, so this is just extra, but I want to make sure we were able to keep putting pressure and keep putting damage to the healer, as you can see with the target over his head, is forced to go here instead of the side nodes. It looks like they only have one healer, and so by keeping him here, or I'm able to help my team defend more. So as you can see, um, I'm getting right in the middle of things, and so I pop my shield. My shield I took from my discipline also does some damage as well, so this increases my DPS as well as just helps me survive more and heal less. Checking around my shoulder because you want to make sure no one's sneaking up behind you, and then generally just moving over again. Again, throwing down some AoE because there's a clump of three. And then as someone else is on me, I stun the healer and then try to um, do DPS to finish off the tank. Unfortunately, the healer broke the root, so I pushed him away and then ran forward again, but the tank was very good and ran inside guard range, so I didn't have anything to do there. Our healer is keeping me up, so I'm just, it's a DPS race between um, classes. They have more people than we do. It's a 4 on 3, but because I'm able to stay on the side, I'm able to continue DPS and make a difference for our team. Again, going forward, putting pressure pressure on the healer, getting him down, netted him, and moved closer, pushed him away. Again, as what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the healer out of good position. You want to get him out of guard range, and by doing so, it makes a tank's job a lot harder. I rocketed out again because there was a lot of different people here, there's four on two at this point. And so I used my shield and my um, life saving uh, hydraulic overrides along with my heals and I used my supercharge as well just so I would have the extra chance to um, dodge them some attacks which is good and helps your survivability. And I don't make a big deal of it, I don't quickly hide, I know the map well enough so that I'm able to get the healing node and be right back in the middle of things. As you can see, I'm doing my Colto shot on the run to continue building the stacks of supercharge, which again helps our DPS. So when I start up in the fight, I'm able to have 10 stacks. Just jumping on a target really quick as I repos reposition myself in the fight. Getting Again, going up top, up top here. Now again, the Sage has seen me, so I move aside, dodge his pushback, and then generally move to the side here. I know he doesn't have his pushback, and so I it's a DPS race between us right here. He bubbled, and so I look forward to the rest of the attacks. And then he stunned me. I broke the stun because it was a big root and or uh, a big mez, and I didn't have time for that. And again, finished him off off someone with a nice 17k heat seeker missiles. Moving forward again, um, I'm kind of in the thick of things, which isn't exactly where I want to be. So I again, I reposition myself up here, make sure to target the right guy, and then do DPS as I'm running over here. Again, as I talked about, I want to get make sure I can get this damage increase, interrupt his force leech because that in turn heals him. Making sure it pops up my chaff flare because that dodges some of his um, force attacks, and then I push 
back the assassin that was on my back, run forward to the other side of the node while continuing healing. I see this um, guy start to notice me, so as soon as I'm done my, with my couple heals and the guy jumps over, I make sure to position myself so I can get away. Stun him to break his DPS on the Master Strike, pop my supercharges defensive, and then run away with Kulto Shot. Now I see the Marauder, he lost his jump, so I'm making sure to go far away. He stealthed out, ran up close to me. I used a root and a pushback. By root and pushback, that means I'm able to get a couple of big heals in before he can attack me then. As soon as I'm in, I pop my shield, and then um, I don't really have any defenses left, so I do a couple big damage attacks and try to get him close. But I know I did a good job rocking it out there to get away because he had to pop his um, healing. As you saw, he jabbed something in his leg so, like, so I made sure to get him low enough that he had to use some of his defensive cooldowns, which in turn helps me kill him later. So at this point in the game, we're again doing pretty well. There's my discipline really quick. Um, and gear. I'm not perfectly geared, but probably out of all my characters, this one's geared probably the best. So again, I'm kind of moving forward. I see that we have a lot of people over here but not a lot over here. Um, they looked like they were capping, but also looked like they were able to handle it, so I kind of moved to the side. Now, I saw Stealther there, popped him out of Stealth with a good Stealth scan, but and he had to use one of his main defensives to Stealth out again. I think I missed him with my sw Sweeping Blasters. Again, I probably should position them more to the left than to the right, but um, it is what it is. I don't want to waste too much time just chasing him around there because in turn hurts my DPS. If I probably wasn't as focused on the operative, I might have been able to get first uh, place DPS. So, As I'm running forward to the fight, again, checking my shoulder, making sure to watch the calls as they come in, and then using Kulto Shot, sweeping blasters to proc. Now, look what I'm doing here. I'm moving away to the side. That way, neither of the two defenders can see me. I move to the side again, making sure to get behind him. Now, I channel my ability first instead of my regular opener so that there's more time so that he can't see me. I stun him so he can't turn. He has to break the stun. Use hydraulic overrides to dodge the low slash and continue positioning myself so I'm harder to attack. I break the stun, do a pushback, and while I'm in the second stun, I look around for a way out. That way, I'm able to rock it out around the ledge, use my shield to continue dodging attacks, use my supercharge as another defensive, and then quickly move forward and keep attacking the guys here. Now, again, I'm underneath this ridge right here as I rooted him so that I could get a couple big heals in, and then as soon as the guy drops down, I make him bubble, and then continue moving outside. Now, when I'm outside, I see someone else attacking me, so I throw in a couple attacks, and then rocket out, and notice my position on the rocket out. As soon as I'm down, I go and cut the LOS, and although I move closer to him, I'm able to get two more heals than I would have if not. Use hydraulic overrides, chaff flare, and my damaging attacks as I go around the corner, again healing up again, and then popping my shield as he comes around, supercharges and extra defensive, and then attacking him and doing some DPS. Again, as you see, I'm doing a lot of running and just um, dodging around, and again, this is like a different type of game than sometimes I post, which is why I'm glad I, I posted it. I'm more focusing on this game of how to survive, getting focused by multiple people, using your defensives correctly, and generally just being annoying. In this game, I was able to distract a bunch of people from the node as well as continue getting some DPS. And because I was able to do so, our side nodes had a little bit easier job defending. So I'm not trying to die, so I wait and see another couple extra people come. This um, power tech's pretty good. And he, I, as I proc my sweeping blasters, he pulls the guy in, and then I start on my rotation to the guy that pulls in. I use my instant stun for the Marauder, but he broke it. So then I position myself around, hit him with another stun because he couldn't break, and then continue doing DPS on the one that we have. Now I see this guy's getting focused, so I throw down some AoE. There's three people on him, so I'm just trying to keep him alive as long as possible. Throw out a couple heals on him, do some sweeping blasters to proc again and do some more AoE damage. And um, again, just kind of doing DPS. We're able to get down two of the three people. And so then, after this, I throw in a couple heals his way and continue doing my blazing bolts. Rocket punch to finish him off, but unfortunately the power attack also died. So I use this time to cap the node. And in hindsight, this was not great positioning. As you see, he's able to go to the side and get a little sliver of me so he can jump to me. But you want to make sure that you're doing the best you can. I rocketed out, and after that, he doesn't have his jump. So he tried to reposition himself and defend, but I scared him outside with some sweeping blasters. 
Then again, I'm inside his 10 meter meter range, so he can't jump to me. Hit him with a stun, and then reposition myself with hydraulic overrides to get farther from the node. Now again, the power tech did a good pull to position over there. I try to push the guys back from focusing, but they were white barred. And then I sent a couple more heals his way. I broke the stun, but then got hit with another stun, so I probably should have saved my stun breaker. And then rocketed out to gain some distance, throwing out some AOE because there was multiple people on him. And then again, doing my tracer missile to finish him off. Heat Seekers on the new guy. The other guy pops out of stealth, so I make sure to hit him with a couple big heals. And again, doing some AOE to get some damage down. And my Blazing Bolts, as well as the Power Tech, so the damage was able to kill. So again, this game was a little bit different than my, when I usually did. I focused on doing defenses and just generally uh, taking on multiple enemies at once. I died a little bit more and did a little bit less DPS, but hopefully this game was able to show you some of the mobility that Arsenal Mercs have and some of their survivability if you do their class right. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll see you next time. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks.